Good evening. Um, I call this meeting of the UISD Board of Trustees to order uh, on this day of January the 22nd, 2014. Um, we'll begin with uh, the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas is one state under God, one and indivisible. <coughs> Please be seated. All right. I need to uh, get Mr. Rodriguez to call roll. Yes, sir. Javier Montemayor. Present. Pat Campos. Present. Oh, that's the Ricardo Molina. Present. Jed Gilpin. Present. Juan Roberto Ramirez. Present. Ramiro Vélez is the third. Present. Rick Rodriguez. Present. We have a quorum, sir. All right. Thank you very much. Let the record show that a quorum of board members is present and that this meeting has been duly called and that notice of this meeting has been posted in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act. Um, do we have any public comments? Lilia, we were supposed to get uh, Ms. Liendo, but I don't see her. Uh, Cindy Liendo was supposed to be here with us this, this evening. I talked to her to be able to just share some information with the board, but we'll wait and see if she comes a little, a little later. All right. We can, uh, we can come back to that um, if she's available. Uh, moving on to agenda item number four, recognitions. Yes, uh, a recognition, obviously, again today, it's a part of the meeting where we are able to showcase our employees and different organizations that, that have helped the district. But I think on the recognition, I think the first one that we want to recognize is the board trustees. I think uh, as you look at, at uh, what you all do and for our community, for our students, and for our staff, I mean, you all need to be really commended because I think the pay that you all get is, is tremendous. But I think the results and the effort that you all do, as you know, the board members don't get paid. They're here, you know, when we initially talked to board members, you know, we think that maybe it's, it's two meetings a month, but, but it's not. And this is a group of, of board members that, that uh, really oversee a budget over $350 million with over 6,000 employees. And they're always extremely supportive of students and supportive of staff. So with that, I want to recognize the board and I want to thank you for the job that you all do to support us. And if we have a little small token of appreciation. Staff, can you give the board, please? We didn't get a video. <laughs> <laughs> Football game, basketball game, outdoors, something to stay in, family can use every day. And again, on behalf of staff and children, thank you all very much. Thank you, thank you. Test. Yes. Good evening, members of the board, 
Mr. Santos, Mr. Cruz, honored guests and members of the audience. What a pleasure to be here this evening to recognize Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Texas. They have served as the insurance provider for the United Independent School District employees and their families since 2002. Through our partnership, the district has established a close working relationship with representatives of Blue Cross Blue Shield who assist in supporting many of our proje projects to ensure their success. This evening, we are here to recognize Blue Cross and Blue Shield for their continued support of United ISD and our initiatives. Most recently, United ISD Partners for Scholars benefited from the $10,000 donation from Blue Cross Blue Shield for the Let's Move for Scholars event held on January 11th, earlier this year. The event drew approximately 300 participants who joined us to promote a healthy start to the 2014 year while raising money for scholarships for our UIZ students. The district raised over 17,800 at this event for scholarships to be issued to our 2014 graduates. We would like to thank Dr. Steven R. Lopez, who is the president of Blue Cross Blue Shield of South Texas, San Antonio region, who attended this event and assisted with the presentation of our medals to the 5K winners. Cindy Sosa, Blue Cross, Blue Cross and Blue Shield, director of account management, who also ran in the 5K and proud to say that she medaled. Robert Laurel, owner of Laurel Insurance Agency and Associates, Tina Cerda and Blas Martinez, as well as Michelle Silva, who guided me in the process of writing the grant and being awarded this grant, who is also our wellness coordinator. Donald Coronado, the account executive, and our staff members, Mr. Chapa and Cesar Vasquez, thank you for everything that you do. Once again, we would like for you to approach our, our stage and be recognized. Thank you for your support. Thank you, Blue Cross Blue Shield of Texas. And also on behalf of our superintendent, our administrators, and our principals that are here, all of the employees here at United ISD, happy board recognition month. Thank you for all that you do. It is a non-paid job, and each of you work tirelessly each day for our district. We wanted to say thank you. Thank you again. Happy board recognition month. Our next recognition Comes a long way. I'm not sure where this particular fellow lives, but he's here with us joining us today and to tell us more about the contribution that he recently gave to our school, we have Tony Rodriguez, who's the director for Frito-Lay. If you can come up, Mr. Rodriguez, and say a few words about your guest that's here joining us today. You're telling me about him a little earlier and I know you have some folks joining us today as well. Absolutely. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, they, yeah, I think I may. Uh, Ronnie, thank you. Uh, just uh, want to say a few things is, again, thank you. I know this is, a, we were here a couple years ago, uh, and uh, what we have is a, is a pres we had a presentation a few weeks ago on the high school, score for your school program. It was actually a check that we presented to United High School for $10,000. Yeah. 
With me today, we have a few members of our team. We have Robert Lane, which is our business manager based out of the Valley, uh, covers Corpus Lado and the entire Valley. We also have Gabriel Garcia, one of our local district managers uh, that oversees our business here locally. And then we also have, I think he snuck off to the back maybe, Vicente Gutierrez, which is one of our district managers, also another local district manager. And just wanted to ask a couple questions. Uh, does anybody know when the Frito Company started? Besides y'all. Or besides Gloria Gutierrez back there and Trey. I would expect y'all know. Did anybody know when the Frito Company started? No. No. 19, somebody said 34? In the back. 1932. It was founded by Elmer Doolin. Anybody know where? San Antonio, Texas. In fact, when I used to office out of that building, there was actually a uh, receipt on the wall that Elmer Doolin bought the Frito recipe for $100 from a lady there in San Antonio. Started making them in his garage, started putting them in a, in a paper sack, and that's actually what started the Frito company. The same time frame, El actually, Herman Lay started the potato chip company, Lay's company, in the Northeast. And in the 60s, they merged to become, uh, to become Frito. And then also in 64, they merged with Pepsi and became PepsiCo stock. So actually, we, we're actually a, a division of PepsiCo. We actually gave a check to United High School, actually the same high school, in 2011, which is worth $10,000. Uh, and then two years later, came back and presented another 10. So that's $20,000 in the last, actually, two years. So again, uh, the way the program works is, when you con the consumption of chips, so when you buy, buy your kids chips every morning or afternoon, or afternoon, they redeem those points and get credit for that, and that's actually how they want. There's only one winner in the entire state of Texas, which is a 5A winner, and it was United High School that won that. All of Texas. Can anybody guess? Just a couple more questions. Uh, and actually that was back in 2011. Some of y'all that were here, how much we sell in chips just in one year in 2011? Doritos, Fritos, Cheetos, Funyuns, Lays? Three million. Not enough. Five million. 20, in 2011, we sold $20 million worth of Frito-Lay products out of Laredo, Texas area. It's a lot of chips. Of course, some of y'all spend about 10,000 for your kids, don't you? <laughs> Mr. gata has got some in his house. Probably empty bags. They don't last, do they, Mr. Gutza? <laughs> that was just your contribution. Well, this past year, can anybody guess how much we grew that business? We went from 20 million, so two years later, into, anybody guess that? Oh, my goodness, I like the way you think. We got an application for you. We sold $23 million. We grew that business $3 million just from Laredo, geography. So thank you for that. So the least we could do was actually give a check for $10,000 to United High School. What I would say, but we're still missing somebody though. Anybody? We're missing Chester Cheetah? Do we have Chester Cheetah in the house? All right. So there's Chester for you. Can't have a party without Chester, right? Trey? Can't have a party without Chester, right? <laughs> so again, we're here. Uh, we're going to be here the rest of the afternoon. We're actually going to be sitting, or actually out in the back. We've got some samples for y'all to, uh, for Mr. Garza, to replenish his stash. <laughs> so yeah, we have uh, samples for board recognition month. So we'll have some samples in the back. We'll be handing that out. Uh, and also, you can take pictures with Chester. Uh, but with that, I'd like to say thank you all for uh, everything you do and uh, for allowing us to be a part of this as well, too. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rodriguez. And we also wanted to say thank you to you for having this program, running this program. And if you'd like to step onto the stage, our board and superintendent would like to honor you. Of course, Chester Cheetah joining us this afternoon. Members of Frito-Lay wanted to say thank you to you for running the score for your school program, United High School, second time winner, $10,000 reward. We hope our other high schools also get involved with this as well. You can stand here in the middle so we can take a nice picture. Thank you again.
Thank you once again, Frito-Lay. And we also have, they did bring with them some bags of chips, different varieties for everyone to enjoy. They'll be given out in the foyer. Thank you again. Yes. <laughs> Good evening, members of the, of the board, Mr. Santos, Mr. Cruz, ladies and gentlemen. This evening, it is our pleasure to recognize Dr. Olakunle Johnson, DDS, with a token of our appreciation. Dr. Johnson has provided approximately $10,000 worth of uh, jackets to our migrant students for the last five years. Dr. Johnson, your altruism and generosity does not go unnoticed, and we will it will soon not be forgotten. On behalf of UISD, our Board of Trustees, and our Superintendent, Mr. Santos, and Federal Programs Office, Migrant Department, thank you so much for your continued support. We appreciate it. Thank you, Dr. Johnson. It is with great, it is with great pride that, that we recognize two UISD student athletes for their individual efforts in their respective sports. The first is a lovely young lady who has excelled in cross country at Alexander High School. She will be graduating this year as the two-time cross-country individual champion, four-time regional qualifier, three-time state meet qualifier, and was recently named to the All-State Cross-Country Honorable Mention Team, and was named the Laredo Morning Times Female Athlete of the Year. Congratulations, Alexander Cross-Country runner, Rebecca Hernandez, head coach, Louis Mendoza, principal, Dolores Wise Barrera. Our next student athlete excelled in football and helped lead his team to the District 29 5A championship and into the third round of the playoffs. He was selected as the district most valuable player and offensive player of the year. He was recently awarded the Dave Campbell's Texas High School Gridiron Player of the Week and was named to the Associated Press 
All-State Honorable Mention team as quarterback. Last weekend, he was also recognized by the Latin American International Sports Hall of Fame with the Dario Inojosa Award as the top high school athlete for 2013. Congratulations, United High School quarterback, Derek Esparza. Head coach, David Sanchez. Principal, Albert Aleman. Congratulations once again to Rebecca and to Derek. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. to agenda item number five, superintendent's report. Do we have uh, right now, we're waiting for Ms. Lindo, and uh, she probably won't be able to make it today. So I really don't have anything, Mr. Gilbert. Okay, all right. Um, item six, uh, the consent agenda items. Yes, uh, Mr. President, uh, the business and instructional meeting uh, met on the January the 14th. And uh, I make a motion to approve item A through E. All right. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? All right, the item passes. Agenda item number six, items, or number seven, items for individual consideration, uh, 7A. Approval of the minutes for the month of November and December of 2013. So moved. Second. All right, any discussion? All those in favor? The item passes. Item 7B, approval of donations. Yes, uh, Mr. Gilbert, members of the board, it is recommended that the board trustees graciously accept the following donations, and they will be attached to the minutes. We have one donation over $1,000. This is for the federal programs department. Receive a total donation of $3,950 for the McKinney uh, Bento and migrant students for the following individuals. Dr. Johnson, uh, Donation $1,600, Laredo Kids Advanced Therapy $500, Smile Magic of Laredo $500, Mr. Mike Garza City Council $100, Technical Laboratory Systems $100, Safari Kids Rehab $200, Carl uh, Vigilance uh, $150, Laredo Furniture Distributors $500, and AEP Lion Association $300. 
We also had an additional 600 uh, donations under 1,000 for this month's grand total is six thousand four hundred twenty-three dollars and fifty cents that we graciously accept and want to thank the people that are helping our schools. All righty, thank you, Mr. Santos. Do we have a, a motion? So move. Second. Okay, motion to accept is presented and a second. Any discussion? All those in favor? All right, the item passes. Um, moving on to item number eight, uh, closed session. The time is now 6.42 p.m. And the board will adjourn into closed session pursuant to sections 551.071, 0 0.072, 0 0.074, and 0 0.076 of the Texas Government Code to discuss agenda items 8, A, B, C, and D. We'll be back in approximately one hour. All right, we are reconvened from executive session, or excuse me, from closed session, and the time is now. 8.53 p.m. The board will take appropriate action on uh, items. Uh, we'll begin with 9A, uh, level three grievance. Move to deny the requested remedies of Belinda Hinojosa with the exception of removing the re reprimand which is granted. All right. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? Okay, the item passes. Uh, item uh, 9B. Recommendation is to authorize legal counsel and administration to offer, negotiate a purchase and sale agreement pertaining to the property for sale by North House Inc. pertaining to 8.9569 acres in the Quail Quick Creek subdivision, City of Laredo, Webb County, Texas, under the terms as discussed in closed session. So moved. Second. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor? All right, the item passes. Item 10, adjournment. Second. All right, we're adjourned. Thank you.